place. Is that your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. I can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show him the merchandise. Yeah, that looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Nobody died. I could shoot someone if it'd make you feel better. Nah, I'm good. Mineshaft. That's the source of the signal. Smells like ambush, Skipper. I agree. This thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. Your grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners and watch your back. Shepard. At last. Have we met? My name is Ilanos Helliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Commander? We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. Can you feel me growing? I'm gonna bring it all! They're in my head! All of them! With knives! If Sergeant Sterling catches me with you, she'll... I don't know... Crush my trachea with her brain or something. You know what I could go for right now? A donut. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstripe suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. I should let you go. Let me go. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. Your mission ends here, Shepard. We'll see about that, bitch. This is it. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap. Tranquil, calm, relaxing. Wake me when this is over. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. I haven't spent much time with Krogan before, Rex, and I have to say, you're not what I expected. Right. 
Because you humans have a wide range of cultures and attitudes. But Krogan all think and act exactly alike. Well, I, I didn't mean... <laughs> Look, just forget I said anything. Done. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. What did he want you to do? He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. Which one of you made it first? It was a tie. I brought back his head. She got the rest of it. As far as I know, we both got paid. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softie. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. You're smarter than you look, Rex. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. I swear to God, I didn't touch anything. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. 
Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They're really selling the Geth did it message. I bet you can't even say Reapers without inciting a panic. Reapers! Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? What? Do you have any idea how dangerous it is here? Dangerous? Get out of here, now, before it blows! Blows? What the- Run! All right! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. I knew a man who went three days without a Tupari sports drink. He got hit by a shuttle. Tupari brings your ancestors back from the grave. Nine out of ten Tupari drinkers recommend Tupari to their friends. The last one is on my list. Twelve trillion bottles of Tupari are sold in a day. Where's yours? Oh, that's right. It's inside me. I know you're weakening. Tupari is on your mind. Give in. Commander Shepard drinks Tupari. Don't you want to be like Commander Shepard? Commander Shepard is referenced under license from Alliance Military Recruitment Services. <laughs> ah, this what passes for food out here. My tastes run more along the lines of edible. Looks like worms. Dead ones. This a human thing? Ugh, I'll pass. I'll eat almost anything, but I stress almost. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. I need minimal heat increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Certainly, sir. Safe, too. I need a 100% safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, I own this room. I own you. I'll see what we can do, sir. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? Absolutely. In fact, I use this model at home, sir. Oh. Do you? All right. Let's do it. Excellent. So the total comes to 116,420 credits. Oh, of course. I, uh... Hmm, I just need to make a call. I should, uh... Check the warranty first. Loser. It's clean. It's a plant. <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit chip. Morning. Time to wake up. Sorry. Creepy. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! 
Repurposed Krogan Hospital. Sturdy, built to withstand punishment. You sound like you know the place. Mm, good site for genophage drops. Efficient dispersal through clan population. Are you always thinking about stuff like this? Not always. Sometimes I fall asleep. To pit living beings against each other for entertainment. Unforgivable. If I survive your mission, I may return here and instruct the Krogan on compassion. I'll need many bullets. Clan Erdnaught has increased in strength after the destruction of Clan Werelock. In addition, killing the Thresher Maw has produced several breeding requests for Grunt and one for Shepard. Ah. Exploring an abandoned area, expecting something mechanical and nasty to jump out at any moment. Just like old times. Normandy to shore party! What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. Trapped inside a Reaper. Could be worse. Don't know how, but... I guess it could be full of rats. Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Sexual activity common for humans in such times, understand it intellectually, recommend caution when dealing with Cerberus. I believe Miranda has earned our trust. What she and I do in our spare time is our business. Of course, hormones, just watch for bugs. Could be planted anywhere. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Watch for bugs. Could be planted anywhere. Can perform exam later if necessary. We'll need probes. Biotic ability also gives benefits. Forwarding booklet to your quarters. Includes diagrams, exercises, inventive uses of mass effect fields. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration bids to use as necessary. Wait a minute, Morton. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream. Of mockery? Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. Oh, Shepard. The engine room? Really? Right there where Tally works? Okay, I have to know. Just how genetically modified is she? Because... Wow. There she is. Hang a right. No, wait, left. I'm on her. Hang a left. She's around the corner. We're not going into the construction site, are huh? Oh, goddess. I'm not letting her escape with that data. Go, 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 go! I'm going! Traffic! Oncoming traffic! We'll be fine. She's dropping proximity charges. I noticed. She's got reinforcements! What kind of guns does this thing have? It's a taxi. It has a fare meter. Wonderful. Truck! I know. Truck! I know. <laughs> there we go. You're enjoying this. I had on collision at this speed. Yeah, I hear those can be bad for you. Truck! Again? Watch out. What kind of hotel is this? Azure. It's a luxury resort with an exotic edge. Azure is slang for a part of the Asari body in some areas of Ilium. Where? Mainly the lower reaches, near the bottom. I meant where on the Asari body. So did I. 
This ship is incredible. It must have taken decades to build in secret. I wonder what happened to the contractors. I think we can guess. Navigating this storm is brutal. If the ship's engines stop, even for a moment, at least the Shadow Broker would go down with us. That's comforting. Not even a guardrail. I bet the Broker's agents love patrolling the hull. At least the view is nice. It's locked. Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one, anyway. You sure that shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them! Tell me you tested it. No time to talk. We are. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Remember the old days when you could just slap Omnigel on everything? That security upgrade made a lot of people unhappy. Their attacks are disorganized. They'd be more effective if they all attacked at once. Please don't give the mercs ideas. The next wave looks like a big one. You just had to give them tactical advice. But now there'll be fewer left to deal with inside. Keep dreaming, Sony. They've seen them. How many guards do the Shadow Worker have? I told you. Liara ever tell you about her family? Her mother is matriarch Benezia. The one who went crazy and joined Saren? Liara isn't her mother. Let's hope not. Anyway, she's never met her father. And, well, that was me. You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Well, she never even met me. Sorry. If you were human, you'd both be called the mother, regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. The matriarchs aren't going to do anything to you, especially in the middle of this damn war. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on. You know how a sorry work. Infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces, that's... I know. About as useful as tits on a Hanar. So, yeah. My dad was a Krogan. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, that makes you a quarter Krogan. That's not how it works. I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Don't tell me how a sorry reproduction works. Wait, I have a half-sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. All I'm saying is, if you feel the urge to headbutt something, it's genetic. I have never wanted to headbutt anything. Really? Not even a little bit? Come on! I do not headbutt people. All right, fine. Don't go all blood rage on me. Nazi and I were together for more than a century. You loved her? Of course I loved her. She was so smart. Always thinking. Nice, too. Hell of a lot nicer than I am. And damn, that rack. I mean, even before she hit the matriarch stage. You don't need to tell me everything. It was pretty clear she was leaving. Can't be the wise counselor when you're married. Why not? Sex appeal. No species only pay attention if they want to have sex with you. So, you have to be available. Mysterious. What? That's not true. Shepard listens to me. And how many times have you popped his thermal clip? Do you have to make it sound so tawdry? If it's all civilized, you're not doing it right. Just take care of yourself out there, okay, kid? I will, Dad. Hey. <clears throat> I've called a few friends. Commandos. Eclipse girls who uh, owe me some favors. They're all yours. Just 
tell him where to go. You're giving me a sorry commandos? Well, you're too old for me to buy you a damn pony. You're the best father a girl could wish for. Look at that. It's a Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up, uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. A bit. But at least you're catching on these days. Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top-secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill, going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that Cerberus cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Sometimes I worry about you, man. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but... Maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> no comment. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. <clears throat> Yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Doctor, I'd like to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rate. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh... Better to die to a thresher maw with shotgun blasting roaring raw than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiagar in her veins. Off to fight since Turians can't, with diplomats instead of a crant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a Krogan queen. For she is the Krogan queen, hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan queen, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Krogan queen. <laughs> Still prefer patter songs. Of course. I really had to twist your arm. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy.
Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. Go on ahead, Shepard. We'll try to shake this thing and find you. But you're all getting closer. Tell me something I don't know. Metal in truck, an excellent iron supplement for Ma's diet. Did you lose anyone back on Earth? No. I mean, extranet friends and such. But I don't really have any family left. What about your wife? Conrad, do you even have a wife? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no. But see, Conrad, if you have some kind of weird shrine of me, I'm going to be very unhappy. It's just a poster with a few candles. It's very tasteful. <sighs> hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. How are you doing, Shepard? The lack of gravity is a little disorienting. The Dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Until then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Get don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. Like the Gath are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no-windows thing twice. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. One of us has to shut down that AA gun. James, get on it. Uh, tech's not my specialty, but I'll pull a few wires, see what comes out. Shepard, you are now possibly the only living organic who has experienced the Geth Consensus. Do you feel different? It was fascinating. Mind-blowing. And I'm also a bit thirsty. And just like that, the magic is gone. Did you just say what I think you said? No. So... Prothean, huh? Yes. You guys like to drink, booze it up? No. Okay. What about gamble? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, sure. Sure, that seems... reasonable. Okay. So, smoking. You ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right. <laughs> yeah, smoking. I get it. So jokes then. You got jokes. All right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vanksher, I didn't know your parnaps could glow. Um... That was the joke. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. That was a good one. <sighs> no, it wasn't. I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. You will believe anything. <laughs> this platform can be of some assistance, Karis Vakarian. I appreciate the offer, Legion, but this is something I know a thing or two about. Telemetry data indicates the calibration of Normandy's weapon accuracy can be improved by 0.32%. That's all? You can't squeeze 0.34% out of it? Negative. That threshold is not possible. You sure? Take a look now. Scanning. 
Normandy's weapon systems have been improved by a margin of 0.43%. How did you accomplish this? A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. Is our current situation an emergency? A geth meddling with our computers, telling me how to do my job? No, I can't imagine that would qualify. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. The activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Or it could be the Prothean standing next to you. Just got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega? That I do. Commander, you see this thing? This is great! <laughs> hey, Edie. The husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? I recommend you apply Metagel. Hey, if nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. You know, for research or... I don't know, whatever. All right. Just don't tell anybody. Nice! You think Esteban will let me set up bowling pins in the cargo bay? keeps me from dropping you off in the target LZ, so help me. That's the bond. Don't let those oversized roaches push you around. Mr. Vega, taking on a sky full of worm necks and a troop transport is like sending you against the Earth invasion armed with brass knuckles. What? You don't think I could do it? You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> The only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything, and we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Hey, guys. Duck and chop? No worries. This is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. 
Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh, yeah? Here we go. Shot one. Oh, what the hell is that? It tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. I brought my own batch, bro. Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. That's not even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. Unless you want to give up? Nah, this is all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let out a few rounds off. I am sober enough. I will join you. Have fun. Try not to kill the neighbors. Cortez. <sighs> give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going nowhere near the shooting range. Just make it stop. Yeah, I think we're done here. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend, and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy, like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ours. Yes is the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. We could just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that... Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. But also my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard. Thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. 
I could stop bullets with my mind. You guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no, really. Okay? What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not confident. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. Get me two. Really? What? You have them all because memorized? Hand, 67. Holmium. Very reactive. Very magnetic. Turian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. 68. Erbium. Atomic weight. 167. And change. Nice. My turn. 69. <laughs> In your dreams. What? I don't get it. <laughs> I'll explain it later. <laughs> it's Thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Nerd! Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. Glad you could make it, Kasumi. Thanks. I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. Well, at least they're clean. Hello, Perry the Pajak. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. Education of youth vital for future. Now, children, science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric, indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. Native to Tuchanka. Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pijack away from Varen. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Problematic. Suggest going limp. Struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. Or not. Ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of course. See, children? Key to science is testing hypotheses, making observations. Next hypothesis? Attempt neural shock. Ah, neural shock clearly effective. Heard the pie jack also clearly made of flammable material. Any questions? Omega. Sky was color of fit cam tuned to a dead Vorcha. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then troubled Doppler shifted deep Asari blue as it came through my door. Likely Elcor a father. High gravity adapted in all right places. Asari said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart. But Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant, nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. A sorry, very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading. In bed. Woke up looking at barrel of pearl handled carnifex. My M98 in another room. Another black widow standing over me. Only loose ends left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and suit filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, a sorry had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be in afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess.
Rex? What are you doing here? Uh, escaping. Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those Pajak shit slingers. No, it's the. It's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Oh, I haven't slept in. I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks. And another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. It stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you? They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Erdnot. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchanka wants a piece of me. And Eve's no help at all. She encourages it. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me, I've been in every position in the past few days. Here are your drinks. And a bag of ice. Morden's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shit, Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And to going through it. I'll drink to that. Carball! It means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You've got a family now. A really big family. Ah, more ice! 